Welcome back. Pain is the symptom most commonly associated with sickle cell disease, but there's also swelling of hands and feet, delayed growth, and vision loss. And a lot of that starting at a very young age. It is a terrible disease, which is why they've named September Sickle Cell Awareness Month to get the word out and promote research. To that end, tonight, we're telling the story of two brave Rochester boys. Um, Vernal and Narsiri Harris's first child looked to be the picture of health at first. Paul was six months old. But then one night, he was crying so hard. Something went wrong. The crying and severely swollen hands. Because he got sick and we had to bring him to the hospital and uh, it was horrible from that moment on. Baby Paul was diagnosed with sickle cell disease. It was just a traumatic uh, few days in the both of our lives. Incurable, painful, genetic. Despite that, Narsiri was told her next child would be fine, so they had a second, Solomon. Six months later, he looked just like his brother did. Pain crises is what they call them. When the body hurts so badly, you usually have to go to the hospital. And there were times the doctors had both brothers in the same room. We were going from one, one room, I mean one bed to the other. She would go to this one, I would go to this one. This one was crying, that one was crying. We tried to give each of them mother, father attention because it was a horrible experience in that hospital. It's a mutation in the hemoglobin. It's a blood disorder, Dr. Lakia Wilson says, that has no cure and can be fatal. It is more prominent in the community of color. One in 13 African Americans um, can have the sickle cell trait, and one in 500 African Americans actually will have the full-blown disease. Their kids were terrific. Dr. Stephen Webb was the boy's pediatrician. When asked about research and treatment, Webb blamed cultural bias for delays. I think if the United States Senate had five parents of sickle cell patients in its ranks, um, we'd be far differently focused. If there ever is a cure, Paul and Solomon won't see it. They died as adults, and they died leaving their parents with sorrow and strength. They never lost their faith. They never blamed God for what they were going through. I'm grateful for the, for the lives of my children. I'm thankful for the lives that they touched. I, I'm, I'm so grateful to have been blessed, God, to be their mom. But it burdens me. It sickens me that moms and dads are still going through that, that children are suffering. As a result of that. Because there's no cure. But there is hope, and for the Harrises, even joy. For they now have grandchildren and even great-grandchildren who remind them of their brave boys. I want to note, even though they were trying to avoid having more children, Narsiri and Vernal ended up having a third, Elijah, who was tested and who does not have sickle cell disease. Testing, by the way, is simple, and these days most newborns are tested for the trait or the whole disease. If you don't know if you've been tested, please talk with your doctor about it as soon as possible. We have much more about this, symptoms, treatment, all that. It's up in this article at rochesterfirst.com.